Hi Robin here. If you're watching this video, perhaps you're a player who's struggling with early releasing the club in the downswing. If you video your swing, perhaps you've had lessons, <clears throat> you'll see this angle between the left arm and the club shaft actually decreases in the transition, a casting movement of the club head. And normally what we see with this is by the time you get to impact, the club head will have reached the ball before your hands. The club shaft will be leaning back. You'll be adding loft to the club. Difficult to compress the ball and hit the ball solid consistently. You normally get a, a high, weak ball flight, losing distance. With the better players, when you watch them swing, you'll see the opposite. You'll see in the transition that the angle between the left arm and club shaft actually increases what we talk about a lot, increasing the lag angle. By the time they get to impact, the hands have reached the, the ball slightly in front of the club head. The club shaft is leaning slightly forward. The loft of the club is slightly reduced. And this leads to a more solid contact, a more penetrating ball flight, and a little more distance. Now, I've talked about in, in another video that this increasing the lag angle stop the early release and the scooping and impact. It's very much a function of the correct lower body movement in the downswing. When the lower body leads the, the downswing with a little bit of pressure into the left foot, rotation from the left hip, as that's leading and the club head's getting left behind slightly, it's this that increases that lag angle. And I've talked about that in another video, but some people ask for some drills to help them get a feeling for increasing the lag angle, and that's what I want to show you today. Okay, the drill's name is called Drag to Lag. It's aimed at the player, obviously who's early releasing, but the player who's got too much tension in their hands. Very common fault I see when players or people are early releasing or scooping an impact. They've got so much tension in their hands that simply they cannot let this angle between their left arm and their club shaft increase. We do this drill, Drag to Lag, what I want you to do is actually, as the, the name of the drill says, drag the club head away from the ball so your hands are leading the club head. To do this, you have to have a soft grip. Very little tension in your hands. And then as you change direction with your lower body, the wrists will recock, repositioning the club, adding that angle to the wrists, and then simply go through and hit the shot. So we drag the club away, then we lag the club and we strike the ball. This will give you the feeling of the energy transferring your through your body from the transition, your hands <coughs> remaining tension free, allowing the lagging of the club to take place. Another good point is you'll probably feel some pressure being put on the inside of your index finger as the club's lagging and that's a good sort of feedback, feedback point that you're doing it correctly. Drag to lag. So if I was to hit the shot, it would look like this. I'm just going to do it with short swings. Now once you repeat that exercise a few times, you should get a feeling for how the transition should feel, where your lower body is leading the transition, this angle between your left arm and club shaft is increasing. You're putting a little bit of pressure on your index finger, as I've said. And then you can move through the shot, which will eliminate that scooping at impact. I wouldn't want you to do too much of this. Clearly, we don't want you dragging the club head away from the ball and making that a habit. So do it enough just so you can get a feeling of this key part, the transition, lower body leading, club head getting left behind, increasing the lag angle. Once you've got a feeling for it, go ahead and add it into your, your full swings, feeling the same transition from backswing to downswing. 